welcome back to a Simply Simple scent. I do have a Scentsy Warmer Scent Scents video that I wanted to share with you guys today. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first off, I do have a couple of uh, Scentsy bricks that I wanted to um, share with you guys. This is the Piña Colada Cha Cha that I was able to get into a brick uh, when they released it. I believe it was a spring of maybe two years ago. Not quite sure. But it is a scent that is coming back for the spring and summer catalog that will be um, out starting February 1st. Um, but not into a brick size, just into the regular size. And pineapple, Piña Colada, I'm sorry, Piña, uh, piña Colada Cha Cha smells like a pineapple piña colada <laughs> like a piña colada oh it just has that perfect hint of coconut oh, it smells amazing um it smells amazing it is one of the like refreshing light scent so when i do warm this i warm it into a smaller room not into like a big open space like uh, my studio here unless i do have like many warmers that is um on at the same time with within the same set otherwise um this one um is currently warming into one of my girls's room and then also my bathroom <laughs> yeah so it's a small like a small area um if it's in a small area then the performance of it is really is it's really fine but i found that when i placed it here you can still smell it but um, when i placed it into the living room because it flows into the upstairs into the walkway to the kitchen and then here downstairs uh hallway i do like that that scent so it wasn't as strong or if you want you could try using two cubes but you guys know me i'm very stingy with my cube i just do one and i know one will give me at least an eight hour uh performance the other one i'm so ready for spray the other one is pineapple coconut vanilla it's another scent similar to pina colada, um, light, refreshing, with that uh, hint of pineapple. But this one though, um, the pineapple scent to this one is a lot more milder than the pina uh, colada. And then with this one, my shell is uh, falling apart and then it's starting to, I don't know if you guys can see that, um, it's starting to sweat. And so that's why making sure that it gets stored like this. And even though it's not, it's like 37 degrees out today. And even with that cold temperature, it's still sweating. So it's not necessarily only happens like during the summertime of the heat. Um, because of certain oils that is mixed into the certain scents, there is some scents that have more of a tendency to, uh, to sweat. Okay. And that one, I kind of, I don't like it when it sweats because when you pick it up, it's sticky, slimy. It's like, it's like working with a, a little bit of a slime. So, but that smells amazing. One of my favorite spring and summer scent as well. This one is um, one of my favorite uh, spring and summer scents as well. Uh, pineapple, coconut, vanilla. Okay. And then again, I do believe this one is coming back spring and summer catalog, but in a smaller version. Don't quote me 100% on that. I thought I saw it return okay but definitely the pina colada okay so then I have my little my little Dollar Tree gold basket okay I don't I like to put it in here because it's inside my room and then so I know just to grab it and then share it uh, with you guys so this one I am enjoying lemon sorbet I went through my Scentsy Club um, because my next shipment is February, knowing that what uh, is coming out for um, for the spring and summer, I took out lemon sorbet because it was into my Scentsy Club. It is coming back, so I figured I'd go ahead and take it out of my Scentsy Club, and then I put in there um, retiring scents for the fall and winter, and one of them is Hug in a Mug. Now, with the lemon sorbet, oh my goodness, friends, it's one of my favorites oh i love it i love it i think you know what lemon sorbet has to be one of my favorites because it's it's uh, it gives me that certain memory of like childhood my childhood i remember walking we lived in a military base and we would walk from school which was off the base walk home and as soon as we entered the the gates to the military base uh with my other military uh, childhood for like friends within inside the gate 
there is a mini mart and we would always get candy um, that smelled so much like lemon sorbet. Oh my goodness. Oh, remember those now laters and all those other goodie candies? I think it was, it, is it lemon head that reminds us? I still need to buy lemon heads. I, next time, the only place I see lemon heads is I think the, the Target candy section and then the Dollar Tree. Okay. So, um, enjoying that. Love that. And then I have hug in a mug. Like I said, I, um, I went through my Scentsy Club. I added hug in a mug because I think I only have two left. We have really been enjoying hug in a mug. And for some reason, within the past month or two, I have been gravitating to hug in a mug more than throughout the years that they first came out. Because I think um, hug in a mug is, this is the second or third year that we've had this, but this has always been like the children's favorite, especially Jonathan. He warms the, um, this one up into his bedroom throughout the year. So got that onto the Scentsy Club. And then breakfast in bed, using it up. I think the last video I shared with you guys, I had like maybe four left or three. But now I'm down to one. It is currently into my living room, um, into a couple of warmers in there. Um, sea salt, Himalayan sea salt, the Glimmer and Glow. And then I want to say the... Um, the January one, the panoramic, is it the one for the Alaska lights, northern lights, that one, okay? Cloudberry Dreams, this one was into my bedroom, um, and then I switched it out again, but Cloudberry Dreams, I'm debating whether to add it onto the Scentsy Club. I think I will. I think I only have like maybe two more of this. Maybe I will. I like it. It's um I think it has vanilla. I can I think I can smell the hint of vanilla in here. That makes it a bit more kind of I don't like the question mark like do I like it? Do I not like it? But I do and I wouldn't mind having a few more. So, I think I will add that onto my Scentsy Club. Friends, happy birthday. It's still here. I leave it here because the kids, the kids gravitate into this as well. They change. I think today they, um, they cleaned up their room. Woo woo. Um, but I told them to turn on all the warmers during the day because they always turn it off at night. I mean, they turn it on at night and turn it off during the day. So I made them turn it on so they can all change their scent. Um, that's why this is here. And then hug in a mug and then lemon sorbet is into one of the girls. And then, uh, all right, so I went, I finished up my Rainforest um, Bungalow. I love this scent. Um, it's not popular. I don't think, oh, is it coming back? I don't think so. I don't think it's coming back. And it's, I think I took it out of my Scentsy Club. But I have so much of this. I have plenty. I have, I think, 20 bars. So that's plenty until it comes back. <laughs> but uh, Rainforest Bungalow is a very... I want to say earthy, but not really. Um, it's not musky, earthy. It's earthy in the sense that it smells like the rainforest. Like it smells like earth. Um, not, not in a bad scent, but it smells like the rainforest. <laughs> it smells like the Amazonian rainforest. Or not even the Amazonian rainforest. Um, I would put it into the, um, the rainforest of like, um carib is it caribbean jungle <laughs> i don't know i'm just making things up but it smells good i love it it's one of my favorites and like i said i stocked up it's been into my sensi club for quite some time i'm not a hundred percent sure if it made it back but if it's not i do have plenty okay sweet plum pastry all right sweet plum pastry is one of those scents of whether you like it or you don't it's hard to be like in between and the first few years of my Scentsy life, I did not like it. I it, I was on the other end. But now, within like maybe two years, maybe two or three years, I'm, I love it. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Um, I will always have this into my Scentsy Club or like Stockpile it along with um, Lemon Sorbet, Kahikuhula. Kahikuhula is coming back, friends. Thank you. Scentsy God. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for all those votes that you guys did for me. I am a, I am saddened that Coastal Strawberry did not make it, but Kahikuhula made it. I'm good with that. I only have two or three Coastal Strawberry, so 
friends, Sensi brothers and sisters, if you have coastal strawberry and you want to share or do some trades, let this girl know. <laughs> I would love some more coastal strawberries. Okay, got that. And then I went, I, I went through Palm Beach Breeze. I only have a few of these because this one was into my Scentsy Club. And it came into like, the, I think the summer collection last year. I really liked it. Put it into my Scentsy Club and then I did something to my Scentsy Club during that time that I only got one shipment of it. So I don't have any more and I'm kind of bummed. But then again, I warmed the, the last cube that I had in here into my bedroom. I did not smell it. I don't know why. Um, I can smell it when, you know, cold sniff. But warming it, for some reason that day, I don't know what my what was wrong with my sniffer. But I'm done with that. And then lastly, this was also part of the the um, the voting for the bring back my bar. I don't think it made it. I'm not sure. Maybe it did. Maybe it did. Um, but it's banana berry. I like it. I also stockpiled on this. I probably have between 10 and 15 bars of this. So I have plenty whether it's coming back or not. Uh, I, I love it. It's a sweet berry note and banana. Hmm. It's like a candy. There's some sort of a candy of this now that I'm... There's a candy of this. Oh gosh. I'm, I'm remembering the mini mart again at the base with my friends. There's a, like a fruity candy of this scent that I'm kind of recalling right now, but can't think of it. All right, those are all the scents that I am um, warming, enjoying into my home. And then also I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of warmers. I think I, think I told you guys that I was going to show you my Scentsy shelf here behind me i can show you that and then i can show you upstairs into my um my bedroom and then for the kids i i always ask them mostly most of the time they said no <laughs> they're like no don't go in my room uh to show the the sensi but anywho i can definitely show this because i rearranged some stuff and i don't think i have um kind of shown it to you guys like up close and personal kind of thing so i'll do that and as always i thank you guys for visiting a simply simple scent Mahalo. Aloha, friends. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Why is there tape on my wall? <clears throat> All right, I apologize. I actually had to look it up. This is called the Sensi flower oh my goodness i forgot what is this one called um i've only bought one i know i think i bought two but i gifted it um so this is the only one that i've ever had and i've had this for a while you can still smell it when you like actually put your nose into the the flower and it's totally dry and empty but it's so cute like the bottle is so cute that i could not um throw it throw it away but I just have it there for display and then I put it there <laughs> and it's just there. And like I said, I, I don't know if I'm going to purchase another one. Uh, maybe I would. But the thing with the, the Scentsy Flower ones is that it's a very light throw. I mean, I can smell it if I'm working on the desk, but I can't, I can't honestly smell it throughout the room kind of thing of that particular scent that was in here so i don't know if it was because of the particular scent that i had and it was um the summer collection last year so i think it was pineapple fuego i think maybe um but i do have another one if i did not give that one away and then i'm gonna see if i can try again with a, a stronger scent but um i was saying that i have to have some sort of a scent into my work um area whether it's here or into my studio or into my kitchen or into my work office in the um the sauna that's where i used to um to stash all my scentsy um stuff until it just uh, got so overcrowded because it just the the scentsy warmers and the scents um depending on my mood it motivates me it makes me be um 
active and productive in whatever I'm I'm doing. So I I do really enjoy um like the sensey scents um very close to me when I'm working. So over here I have if you count that, I have one, two, three, four Scentsy products. And then this one, though, I just use water and then I turn it on at night. I, I've shown you guys that before. But um, these are the two warmers that's constantly on. And then I have two more warmers behind me that I've shown you guys. I can definitely take a quick um, video of that for those of you that are new here into my um, new Scentsy channel. Um, this one is the... Crush is this Crush Diamond Scentsy Warmer, and that's the one that has the is it the Palm Beach scent that I told you was very very light. So let me smell that again because it's the light blue. Yeah, you know what? I can smell it when I put it up close, but again, it was very light. Okay, and then this one, oh gosh, I want to say it's Share Your Love Warmer. I could be wrong, but I always put the uh, the description of the warmers or the name of the warmers into the description box. This one is the Sweet Plum Pastry that I changed earlier this morning. Oh my goodness. I love it. So I put this in here. I, t I woke up really early and then I took a nap. But when I left my room, I came back in here and it was still on. My room honestly smelled like, oh gosh, like a... Plum Pastry Bakery. It smelled amazing. It smelled really, really good. So um, definitely enjoy Sweet Plum Pastry. And then this one is just water. Like I said, when I have it on, this is my uh, Scentsy Diffuser. I can definitely turn it on. Let me see. It's hard to, because I'm just using my phone. Okay, hold on. There. Not pretty. And then changing the light colors. Okay, and then there's the flicker. Isn't that cute? I like the flicker. Okay. And then just turning it off. Okay, and then let me go ahead and show you the other quick warmer in here. All right, so over here is just right by my bed. And then I have, I turn this off at night, but then I just have this. And it doesn't really bother me with this, um, with the glow, but if it does, um, if it does bother me, I just turn this off and then I turn the, the heart warmer on over there. But I listen to the, the soothing sound of just thunderstorm and rain um, as my night music. Alexa, please turn off. And then so I have this. This is, um, gosh, I think in the harbor <laughs> warmer. Again, I'll put it into the description box. And then this is, of course, the chic warmer. I've shown you guys this before. Love it. It's absolutely beautiful. The white and then the gold. Okay. And then I still have the Kahiku Hula in here that I shared with you guys about a week and a half to two weeks ago. I have not changed the scent because I've been focusing over there of changing those scents. But I still enjoy these warmers lit up. So I just don't change the scent. So I don't always change the scent into my warmers. I could honestly keep the same scent in there for as long as I'm using the warmer. If I'm constantly changing other scents into the other warmers within that room. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, and then this was a dollar spot over at Target for like $3. Stay humble, be kind, Ray Dunn, Target, and then another Target dollar spot. And then this was, I think, Home Goods. Okay, all right. If you guys have not seen this. Let me also turn on the light. I guess that would help out. Okay. Not pretty. All right, and then again behind me, um, it's always the Disney ones. I've been just keeping this one just Disney. I have moved stuff around though. I've shared a little bit of it um, a few weeks ago. I borrowed Danica's uh, Scentsy Buddies. So I have a couple of Scentsy Buddies in here. I have Stitch, Winnie the Pooh, 
Tigger, um, Dumbo, Olaf. Is it Sven? Sven? She knows how to pronounce it. So I have that. With her permission, of course, um, she said I can borrow it. And then I have some of the same warmers and then a couple of added ones. So I still have the Tinkerbell, Faith, Trust, and Pixie Dust. And I don't even know what's on these scents, but something smells good. I've just totally forgotten what I have put into them. I think it was the not the one before, the two videos before. Um, this one of the Scentsy um, Warmer Scent scents that I shared with you guys of those of those scents but i do have winnie the pooh like this not cute then it's got the bee honey and then all around is the little white silhouette of um tigger and rabbit and eeyore or is it piglet and eeyore pulling um poo out of the um his home because he ate too much um honey Okay, this one again, Ray Dunn, work hard, be brave, boss lady, Ray Dunn, home goods, um, target dollar spot, target dollar spot, home goods. This is the turtle. I love turtles. Okay, and then this is a tree from Ikea, but I'm leaving it here for a year round tree. And then it just has the ornament that I had gotten from Target. I don't know if they're still available. I'm going to keep them year round because they are not Christmas themed. Really like them. And they're like the, like the light ones. I don't know if you guys can see it here, but they're very light, like hollow inside. And I got them specifically for the princesses. And then I saw Jack and of course... Jack's my favorite. I had to get Jack. And then, of course, um, it's Disney theme. And you can't have a Disney theme without Minnie or Mickey. And then, of course, Stitch is the king of the tree. So he's way up there. And then, of course, there's Olaf, too. Don't forget Olaf. <laughs> All right. So then over here is the Cinderella warmer. I bought two of these. So I have one extra. And thinking that the girls might want it later on. So I have an extra one and in case something happens to this one. So I did get all these Disney things. I love Disney. Um, my family loves Disney and I can, I have three girls. So whatever girly things I have um, in, in life, I can always pass it on to them. May it be my Louis Vuitton bags, Disney collection, you know, jewelry. Okay, and then this one is the Villains Warmer that came out, I think, summer, towards the end of summer last year. We always have it on the Dragon for Sleeping Beauty. Okay. And then the Frozen Warmer. Danica has claimed this one. She said this one is hers. Is it, isn't that pretty? It goes all the way around. And then I just have it into a dollar spot Valentine's Day um, like cake stand from the dollar spot. But I purchased this one last year. And the ones that they have this year is, um, I think, heart scallops. Okay. But I figured I'd do the red because of the, the red from the warmer. Put into like a Valentine's Day theme in there. And then, oh, sorry my tea all right i totally forgot <laughs> i put that there okay so um dollar store this is target there was three of them and then uh target dollar spot and then this is the mickey and the mini now uh for the spring and summer catalog they are releasing new mickey and mini and i think it's just a like a vintage looking head i i definitely want to get it um just because i love disney but i was um so glad that i had this already i didn't buy this for these warmers i already had this and then it just goes well together mickey and minnie that not cool all right and then again this is just the ikea um this is the ikea alex this is the ikea collection i forgot what's the name of it Billy bookcases. I think this is also Billy. I'm not sure. But I keep a couple of um, Scentsy products in there. Brochures. 
like um arts and crafts and then these are all my like arts and crafts stuff as well like um i don't even know what i have in here oh a uh, couple of like markers what have you and then more more stuff more arts and crafts okay all right friends and um three three sections i think this is enough <laughs> i don't want to make this too long of a video as always i thank you guys for visiting a simply simple scent mahalo